Becoming a software developer in 2023 might be challenging. But with the correct combination of hard work and careful planning, you can easily do that. The average software developer salary in the United States of America is more than $100,000, which is why becoming a software developer is in great demand. So today in this video, we are going to take a deep dive into how to become a software developer in 2023. We will go through various steps that will guide you to achieve your goal of becoming a software developer in 2023. So in this video session, we will learn what is software development, what software developers do, skills you need to become a software developer, steps to become a software developer, and how much can you make as a software developer. These are the following agenda points that we will be covering in this video session. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. Who wrote the world's first piece of software? A. Ada Lovelace B. Tom Kilburn C. Grace Hopper or D. Charles Babbage Please let us know your answers in the comment section below. Moving forward, let's first understand what software development is. So the process of producing and maintaining computer programs is known as software development. The software development process can involve a wide range of tasks including the definition of user requirements, the design of software architecture, the implement of software components, etc. Along with that, it involves the testing of software to ensure it is correct and reliable, and the maintenance of software to fix bugs and add new features. Not only that, they have a variety of positions and responsibilities like analyzing and optimizing computer system performance, maintaining current programs, creating code for repairing, etc. So, as we understood what is software development, now let's have a look what software developers actually do. So, software developer role focuses on designing solution for enterprise organization. They take care of the design and maintain a software system. They occasionally supervise the work of computer technologists, programmers and technicians. Along with that, they visit with clients to evaluate their needs, assist in development, guarantee usability and provide quality assurance. Their work consists of working with programmers to ensure that their development and design concepts are effectively converted into code. Clients, designers, engineers and management are also involved in the development process. Moving ahead, we will look into the skills you need to become a software developer. So to become a professional software developer, there are some soft skills and hard skills that you must know. So let's start with some soft skills first. First would be communication. So in order to accomplish their work effectively, developers must efficiently interact with clients, colleagues and supervisors and staff, technicians, departments, etc. This includes being able to clearly explain technical concepts to the non-technical people, which makes the process smooth for clients and developers. Or number second, there is teamwork. So software developers frequently collaborate in groups to plan, create and build projects. They must effectively work with others, receive constructive comments and participate in meetings. So this is how teamwork is important in software development. Next up we have is problem solving. So one of the major responsibilities of a software developer includes resolving issues discovered by computer programmers or consumers. To ensure that a software runs properly, they must have excellent problem solving skills. Time management is another important skill of a software developer. As a software developer, you will be able to manage your time effectively in order to meet deadlines and deliver high quality work. This includes being able to prioritize tasks, estimate the time required to complete them and manage your workload effectively. At last, we have adaptability. So the field of software development is constantly changing. So it is important to adapt to new technologies and approaches as they emerge. Being open to learning new things and being able to quickly pick up the new skills will be crucial for success in this field. So these were some of the skills necessary for a software developer. Now let's move ahead in this video by knowing some hard skills to become a software developer. So first would be data structures and algorithms. So a strong understanding of data structure and algorithm is essential for software development. This includes knowledge of common data structures such as arrays, linked list, graph, trees, etc. 
as well as algorithm for sorting, searching and manipulating data also. Next we have version control system. As a software projects grow and evolve, it is important to keep track of changes made to the code base. Familiarity with version control system is essential for software developers. It allows developers to keep a record of every change made to their code. This makes it easy to see what has changed, who made the changes and when they were made. So there are many different version control systems available such as Git, Mercurial and Subversion. Each has its own set of features and capabilities. So it's important for developers to choose the one that best fits their needs. The next skill is Software Development Framework. So many software development projects make use of frameworks which provide a set of tools and libraries for building applications. Knowing one or more frameworks such as .NET or Spring can be helpful in software development. Next skill on our list is IDEs. So in today's world, modern IDEs are essential tools for any coder. So Visual Studio Code, Eclipse, Turbo, C are few examples. Python programmers should use Jupyter Notebook, whereas C, C Sharp and C++ programmers should use Visual Studio Code. Coming to the next skill, which is Database and SQL. So in many software projects, data is stored in database. Knowledge of database design and querying languages is important for software developers. There are many different types of database available including relational databases such as MySQL and Oracle, NoSQL databases such as MongoDB and Cassandra, and in-memory databases such as Redis. Next we have scripting. Scripting is an important skill for a software developer as it allows them to automate tasks and create scripts that can be used to automate tasks or perform actions on a computer. There are many different types of scripting languages available, including shell scripts, Python, Ruby, and JavaScript. Each language has its own syntax and set up built-in functions, and has its best suited to certain type of tasks. In a nutshell, scripting is an important skill for software developers as it allows them to automate tasks, customize tools, and rapidly prototype ideas. Moving on to the steps of becoming a software developer. So the first step would be learn to code. So learning to code is an important step in becoming a software developer. There are many programming languages to choose from and the best one for you will depend on your goals and interests. You can start by learning a programming language like Python, Java, C++ or C Sharp from a variety of sources. To learn to code, you can start by choosing a programming language and finding resources to help you get started. This might include online tutorials, books and video courses, etc. It can also be helpful to practice by working on small projects and building up your skills over time. Once you are done with the learning to code, then you can start with building projects. As you learn to code, it's important to practice your skills by building projects. You can start by building mini projects and then move to the broader ones. This will help you apply your knowledge and gain experience. Coming to the next step which is certifications. So certificate programs can help ambitious software developers break into the field or progress their careers. The training might help to fill up gaps from previous degrees and refresh outdated skills. Obtaining a certification can be a valuable asset for software developers as it can help to demonstrate their skills and expertise to potential employers. Following step is building portfolio. So employers can see your talents and experience through a portfolio. Your portfolio should ideally highlight a wide range of success and projects from school, internships, hobbies and extracurricular activities. Some such tasks include game or app design, website development and coding assignments that help demonstrate various languages such as HTML5, JavaScript and SQL. So after building a portfolio, the next step is internships or entry-level positions. So once you have a solid foundation in computer science and have a built portfolio of your work, you can start looking for internships or entry-level positions in the software development field. This will give you the opportunity to gain hands-on experience and build your professional network. So these were some of the steps to become a software developer. Now let's go to the interesting part which is how much can you make as a software developer? So the amount that a software developer can make depends on number of factors including their level of experience, the industry in which they work and the location of their job. In general, software developers with more experience and specialized skills can command higher salaries. In the United States, the average salary for a software developer is around $101,661 per year. 
and the average salary of a software developer in India is 7 lakh per year. Salaries in other countries may be higher or lower depending on the local cost of living and other factors. Some companies that are hiring software developers are VMware, JP Morgan, Dell, Deloitte, etc. So this was all about how to become a software developer in 2023. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can put them in the comment section. So what's your opinion on a list of steps to become a software developer? Feel free to let us know if we missed out on something important. And with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.